we're going to go ahead and eliminate the parameter here. Um, basically, all we need to do, guys, is again, write this as one single equation um, with terms t. Now, again, typically, I always like to solve for t in, in the x equation and then plug it into the y. Because when I see something as y equals, I usually understand it fairly. Like, I can describe what the curve is fairly well. So if I wanted to solve for t, I could just divide by 2. So I could say t is equal to x divided by 2, which is the same thing as 1 half x. Yes? I'm not doing anything crazy, at least for those of you that are paying attention. For those of you who are not paying attention, I'm sorry. This will show up on a tester quiz, so you might be a little bit lost there. But is everybody OK there for those of you that are with me? Good. OK. So now I have the value of t. Can I just plug it into my other equation? OK. So y equals 1 half x minus 1. And now we just got to say, OK, so now, we've, now we have eliminated the parameter. Do we have a t anymore? No. no. OK, great. Do what type of equation is, or what kind of curve does this provide? Isn't it like a one-off cycle? Yeah, like what do we call that? Like a, uh, we just, yeah, we can just call it like the square root curve. Right? Just a positive square root curve going in that direction. That's it. That's all.